So we are just coming up to the start of Christmas really. Uh, it's the 21st today, just a few days to go. And I was thinking, what could I make a video about? Uh, as I've got a bit of time, any of you that follow me uh, will know that I was supposed to be in for surgery. Uh, that's not happened. It's got canceled because of the uh, nurses strikes, junior doctor strikes actually. Shouldn't blame the nurses this time. Uh, but I've got this lovely Benina 7.30 here. I uh, haven't looked at it for ages. I know it needs a service. There's the old bulbs, get rid of that. We'll put a nice LED bulb in here like we normally do. Uh, I can't, can't remember exactly what's, what's going on with this. So, bag of feet, loads of feet. Uh, don't appear to have any bobbins, so we'll sort that out. Got the extension table, foot control. So what I think I'll do is get the machine out, just see what it's what it's doing, switch it on, uh, have a quick check over. I can't remember if it needs gears. I don't think it does. Uh, but like I say, I haven't looked at, looked at this machine for probably, I think I've had it about six months kicking around. Uh, that plug needs changing, that's not compliant. Uh, see my other videos about that. Uh, so yeah. Let's get this beast out of its case. It's a bobbing case. Like I say, we've got the we've got the extension table, loads of feet, the instruction book. This will go up for sale. Uh, like I say, I just haven't got round. Haven't got round to doing anything with it. Let's have a look under the hood here. So. Yeah, gears could all do with a nice clean up. It's feeling slightly, I wouldn't say it's, it's stiff. Well, it is a bit, it's not, it's not as bad as some are. Let's just move this around and see what is going on with this cam stack gear. I can't, not seen any cracks in it yet. Uh, it looks like somebody tried at some point oiling the vertical drive gear. Which these gears don't need lubrication, as as we know. But uh, yeah, all in all, exception of that bit of wear there, it's a it's a nice Benina. Let's take the accessory tray off. Uh, incidentally, I do have another one of these. Uh, kicking around that I I snaffled off eBay and uh, I can't remember. do you know what it's just sat here I don't even I haven't even lifted it I'm not sure if it's got any damage uh, yeah I've not even unpacked it but that is a 930 extension extension accessory case So let's pop those bits back in there. Let's plug this in and see what happens. What I what I think I'll do is because you know we've we've done lots of videos and these aren't the hardest machines in the world to maintain. Uh, what I might make this video about actually is just how to change the capacitor on these these vintage bananas so obviously we've got no bulb in there machines running just look at that gear don't want to put too much uh, power through the machine as it's like i say it's been sat for at least six months so yeah that that cam stack gear is all good so i'm happy with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go to the motor, do a bit of investigation on the motor, just check the brush conditions. Uh, might change the change over the brushes depending how worn they are. And uh, yeah, we'll do that capacitor. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so here we go. Let's access the motor. What we're going to do is we're just going to undo 
the two screws on the base of the machine is going to enable us to take the motor cover off. So that's the first one. And this will be the, the second one. Uh, do comment on these videos. Just let me know if you find them useful at all. I'm by no way a professional video maker, as you can tell, but uh, okay. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess in here, actually. Uh, it's not actually. Oh, look at it. It's not been looked at for a while. So for some reason, I thought this was the same motor as the 530, and it's not. So anyway... We'll carry on with this and uh it's not really the the video i was planning to do but never mind let's take these these screws off too oh that's tight oh there we go Okay, so this is why I had gingerly ran the motor. I don't know if you're going to be able to be able to see in there, but uh, the motor brush, this motor brush that sits here, is virtually non-existent. Uh, there's, I can't show you on the camera. I don't think. Let's try and get the light right. No, but the that motor brush has disappeared. Uh, there's a, probably about three mil left. And it's at a funny little angle. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing, we're going to get to these motor brushes. That's one screw. Second screw. Okay, now the brushes are oh, held these are these are the uh brush housings so you have to be really careful with these wires bearing in mind that they're very old you know you don't you don't want to really be be breaking these or you're going to create a huge huge amount of work for yourself That's the first screen. So this isn't my favoured screwdriver either, and it's surprising how not using your favourite screwdriver can make things a little bit awkward. Right, so that's those off. Now we want to tease those wires out the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my favourite screwdriver. Which is my trusty favourite. Okay, so what we need to do is tease these brushes up and out of the machine. So it be a little bit fiddly. This is the... That's the good brush. I don't know if you can see that. And I say good. There's very little left on there. And then the bad brush. really doesn't want to come out because the springs actually bent into into the commutator here we go so that's what was left 
with the other brush. So that's uh, that's one of the reasons why you really have to be quite careful when you turn on these old machines if you haven't checked them, just to make sure that everything is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a new set of motor brushes. You can bin those other ones. I just need to check that we have the right size here. Uh, I can remember where I put all the motor brushes. I know I have a load in here somewhere. Uh, them? Yes. So I believe this pair here is the right size. And the way that you're going to check that is by the the housing and check that they are the correct size because what you don't want is the motor brushes to be uh, let's just move that camera so this is a bit more central in shot what what we don't want is the motor brushes to move in the housing we don't want them rattling around so no they're those ones there are a little bit too small so it's not the correct brush for that machine it was a guess so i want some that's slightly fatter i'm sure i have some somewhere back in safely uh, if you're in Europe watching this or uh, it seems to be if your home language isn't English and I don't mean bastardized American English. I love how the Americans like to uh, tell us how to pronounce and spell words when we invented the language, but hey, what do we know? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you may refer to motor brushes as coals, which is, uh, which is a common uh, translation, really. But but here in the UK, we call them motor brushes. Yeah, that's a much better fit. So we'll just get those brushes mounted on their, their new springs. I'll just pull the spring slightly because the length of those springs They need to put enough pressure onto the commutator, but not too much. Uh, yeah, get rid of those old brushes. So that's that bit sort of prepped and ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is clean the commutator. Now I'm going to start with a little bit of alcohol and just take the the worst of the carbon deposits off and then we'll probably go with like some super duper fine uh, sandpaper and just clean it properly so we're getting a lot of that a lot of those deposits off now already just by buying a little bit of iso Propanol alcohol. And then next, what I'll do is get the thousand grits. I'm just 
give that another another little polish and then another clean the alcohol just to make sure that we've left no uh, grainy deposits so rather than dismantle the head off the motor what I generally do is I just apply a little bit of pressure we don't a lot of pressure a little bit of pressure to the paper and just turn the motor and I find that that gentle action clean the commutator up rather well you can already see look look at that Don't want to use anything too coarse. You want thousand grit or finer. So I'm taking a tiny, tiny bit of uh, copper off the motor and a lot of the dirt. A little bit more alcohol in my cleaning tub and there we go look at the difference already in that so that's looking quite nice I'm happy with that so what I'll do now pop the brushes back in and then we'll open up this side and have a little look at the capacitor that is probably still in there Right, so we've put the brushes back in. Uh, we've cleaned the commutator, as you saw. So now we're just gonna take this little electrical cover off here, very gently. And you will see the capacitor sat here. Now this is the same capacitor that you would find in a Benina 830 motor housing or an 808 uh, so we have the earth wire coming over here let's just remove this little uh, out of the way what you end up with is these funny little uh, spacers here uh, sorry, that didn't help at all, did it? So you've got these little spaces here to keep some of the wires in, in separate positions. So, just to show you. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit closer. Okay, so just going to show you how to install this capacitor quickly. So, uh, as you know, we've taken out the ancient old one here. So, yellows to earth. And then, see that yellow to earth. This pin number four comes out really easily. And we go blue onto pin number four. And it's also the black wire from the switch. And we can put pin number four back. In fact, what we we want to do is seat the capacitor where it's going to live so we don't get any wires trapped. So these are built to the same specifications, dimensions pretty much as the original. So everything should fit back in the motor housing. Uh, now this red wire and the black wire, I'm gonna tuck them, tuck them under. So the black wire is going to pin number two and the red wire is going to pin number one. We've got nothing going to pin number three as that is the earth 
going down to the plug and that is connected here so that is the install of the replacement capacitor for the what do we call it the type 2 benina 730 motor uh, the original motor takes a I say the original, it's still original, but the earlier motors take a different capacitor. Uh, we've cut out the resistor that was in there because it's built, this resistor is now built into this capacitor for ease of installation. Okay, so we've fitted everything back inside now. It's all nice and neat. Uh, it is a little bit of a jigsaw, you do have to play about with it a little bit, so I didn't want to spend ages showing you that on video. So we've just got these last last bits to put back together again now. I'm just going to pop those screws out and just give this a little clean up. It's a bit grubby. It's from all the carbon from the the old brushes. So that'll do. So now we've got to line all of this back up with the switch and the pins, like so. That's everything back in the housing. Let me just have the last two screws. And that's that motor serviced and ready to go back into the machine. Uh, so we've got new, just to recap, we've got new motor brushes, new resistor and capacitor. We've cleaned the commutator. Uh, it's not what would be classed as a normal thing in a normal service. So... Uh, there is extra costs involved in this. These these capacitors are built bespoke. They take a long time to make, and they're they're not cheap to retail. So uh, yeah, but that is what we do to make sure that this motor has hopefully got another 30, 40 years life in it. Okay, so the acid test we've. Now I've got our motor back in situ. I'm not going to put the housing on because I've still got this machine to service. But we've we've done the the motor servicing part before we resell the machine. So switch her on. As you can see, we've got a nice bright LED bulb in there. Let me just turn the lights off. Look at that. Superb. Lots of nice sewing, sewing lights. So yeah, here we go. That is the capacitor installed.